mom, so you bought some squash. And bacon. Can, Can we, we have, have some? some? Well, I suppose we could make some bacon sage squash bites. This simple recipe is a great appetizer for your guests to have while they're waiting for the main course at Thanksgiving. And it only has three ingredients, so the prep time is simple, easy, and quick. So let's get making it. The first thing we had to do is prep the squash. We peeled the squash, sliced it up, took the seeds out, and cubed it into one inch cubes. And then we have to unwrap the bacon and cut them into thirds like this. Now that Sophie has the bacon finished and cut up into thirds, we are ready to get started wrapping. But first, we need to prep the sage. So all you have to do to do that is take it, make sure some stem doesn't get in there, but some stem will hurt. Chances are when you cube them, unless you're a perfectionist, they'll turn into triangles. Or different shapes. You'll have all different shapes. So, Fesh. I just take the fly and down. <laughs> Perfect. Put the shape. <laughs> sage leaf on top. Take a slice of bacon. Then wrap it around. And you can wrap it around the skinniest way so that the bacon fits. Take a toothpick. Stab it through both pieces of bacon here. Then. Then you're done. My hands are bacony. You don't have to go all the way through since it holds it together mainly here. Yeah. But you can if you want to, but. Yep, yeah, it's mainly just to hold the bacon on while it cooks. And then you just set it on the plate, ready to. Then it's ready to put in the oven. All right, we're going to compile these up. Now that we're finishing up, we're going to bake these in the oven at 350 degrees for about half an hour, and then we'll be ready to go. You can see we're done with the bacon sage squash bites. So Mom and I are going to eat them up. And I hope you like them as much as we do. Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving everyone. everyone.